Well, we're now down to just one route into the Champions League for next season. We need to win this Europa League semi-final and, and then win, win the next game. We have to win the Europa League. Hello and welcome to Club 6, Part 7 of Non-League to Legend. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode we have our second leg of the semi-final of the Europa League away against Milan and then our final Premier League game of the season at home against Leeds. Since you were last with me, things were going quite well and then fixture congestion just got the better of us. Fixture congestion and poor rotation on my part. Um, but we would, I mean, look at all that green, a sea of green. We were actually at one point after the Stoke game in the league, we were four points behind Man City in that fourth Champions League spot with a game in hand. And they, I genuinely thought I might have to squeeze in an extra episode to show us qualifying for the Champions League. We then beat Milan 1-0 in the first leg of the Europa League semi-final. That was a week ago. Since then, we've played two Premier League games, lost them both, not scored a goal. We now can't get into the Champions League. And I've got a bunch of shattered players going into this Europa League semi-final second leg where we only have a very slender, slender advantage. So we're going to look at Milan and Leeds today. We have got an FA Cup final coming up tomorrow. But it would be nice to think that we can ha add a Europa League final to that as well. This is the state of the Premier League. Look, down in sixth place now. I mean, sixth should be enough to get us into the Europa League unless something drastic happens. And even if it's not, we get there anyway via the FA Cup. So Europa League is secure, but we kind of do want the Champions League, which is the, the main reason for wanting to win. I don't care about winning the Europa League. I just want to get into the Champions League. So... This is the team we're putting out there. We've got Butland in goal, a back four of Tabarez, Felipe, Alex and Suma with Leshy and David in midfield. Salcedo, Merson and DVD are in behind. Jack Hutchings up front and Hutchings, although he's not shown it much in the last couple of games, has been in rather good form, uh, basically deputising for Dolberg and Pingu while they've both been injured. Pingu is fit again in about a week. He might make... He probably He's probably not going to make the FA Cup final assuming the Europa League final, if we get there, is after the FA Cup final, then he might be fit to maybe sit on the bench for that. Dolberg definitely won't be, though. Um, the run of bad form for the last couple of games doesn't just coincide with me rotating the squad, which I did, but also Kasper Dolberg absolutely kicked off the night before the first of the two because he wants to leave because he's not happy that we signed that right back. We sold the right back in January and apparently he gave me time to replace him. We did replace him. We brought in Jamie, uh, but that wasn't a sufficient replacement. So Dolberg waited until the biggest week of our season to absolutely throw a fit and the whole squad backed him up and said, yeah, he's right. Oh, we've got an away goal through DVD. Was it onside? I think it was onside. I've never, they've got all the AC Milan must be sponsoring their own home ground. That's so clever. The advertising boards in Football Manager this year, they're very clever. I don't ever remember them being this clever before. But AC Milan, but, uh, sponsoring around the outside, but more importantly, after two minutes, was it? Maybe it wasn't quite two minutes. I was too I was too fascinated with those advertising boards, but we are 1-0 up with a very important away goal and 2-0 up on aggregate. And if we score again here, I would have been starting to regret rotating quite as heavily as I did in the previous two league games. But fingers crossed it isn't Dolberg who's ruined everything for us, even though he's a team leader in a grumpy. Oh, we've just scored again, and it's Tommy Merson who has been captaining the squad a little bit recently. When I arrived, he was on the transfer list. His Arsenal career was just about over. Age 23, he had an asking price of 5 million quid, and I was constantly turning down offers for him from clubs. That he's been almost ever present since I've been here. He's now worth 30 million pounds. He's off the transfer list. He's had a new contract, and he's been captaining us. Tommy Merson's a hero. I don't. I mean, I think it is a big strength for this Arsenal team that we've got Merson and Hutchings in the team, who are both homegrown Arsenal players. I think that always goes a long way towards helping the mentality of the team, especially on big nights like this, when the likes of Merson and Hutchings are going to want this far more than, for example, I don't know, Salcedo, who's been at the club two years, having previously been at Man United and all over the place. He's not that. If he if we don't we, if we don't qualify for Europe this year, he'll just go and play for someone else who who will. Tommy Merson, he's never going to be any good anywhere else. It wasn't the likes of Man United and Chelsea who were offering for him. It was it was it was Championship clubs. Um, he's not going to be in the team anywhere else other than Arsenal. I I acknowledge we do need to replace him, but for now, he has been playing out of his skin. 
throughout the whole of the second half of this season and just added off added added to that a goal at the San Siro in the Europa League and there's Jack Hutchings grabbing his goal as well. We're now three nil up on the night, four nil up on aggregate. I think it's safe to say at this point we have a Europa League and a Europa League final and I just need to decide whether we do the two finals in one episode tomorrow or whether we uh, string this out a bit and have an FA Cup final tomorrow and a Europa League final the following night. Mm, I'll ponder that one. Let me know down in the comments what you think, but realistically I'm going to record all that right now probably because I'm going to be too excited. So by the time this video is out, I'll already know if I've won those two cups or not. So uh, don't ask me on my live stream tonight because I'm not very good at lying. <laughs> so just don't bring it up. If you don't want spoilers, you're best off just not bringing it up because then I won't have to lie to you. Um, right, Salcedo is going to... There you go, see what I was saying about Salcedo. Not bothered. So he can come off. We're going to push DVD a little bit further forward and we'll take off Leshy, bring on Rabio. And that will do nicely for now. I mean, there's an argument we should be dropping a counter-attacking at this point. My response to that argument is, what's the point with 4-0 up? And they, not, they've not shown anything. I don't think we really need to worry. If they if they grab a goal back, we might drop to counter-attacking just to, just to bring things home. But I'm not overly concerned. Right, we're going to bring Patrick Roberts on for Hutchings. And surely one of these can play as a striker. There you go. Tommy Merson can go forward and play as a striker for us. Because why not? And just give Hutchings a little bit of a rest. He wasn't playing brilliantly, and he was he he, he was a little bit tired. And Patrick Roberts deserves to have a little run out at the Sam Seal. Probably should have taken off David. Looking at the conditioning there, probably should have been paying attention to that. But then we didn't have another central midfielder to bring on anyway. And there we go, massively comfortably in the end. We are in the Europa League final, and now it's just going to be down to who we're playing. I think Man United and Man City. There you go. So it's us against. So we've got back to back cup finals against Manchester United. Three days apart. One at Wembley and one at Arena Auf Schalke. I mean, imagine we'll just. We'll, we'll chat with playing between us and we'll just go straight from Wembley. They're going to be big buddies by the time we get to Germany. I think that, that is Germany, isn't it? So that will be. That'll be tomorrow, I guess. We'll just do both of them. And it could be the happiest or saddest episode I've ever done. Uh, but first, of course, we've got to play Leeds. Just to... I mean, it's fairly meaningless. We might finish fifth. Mm, there's a strong argument that I should be doing some heavy rotation for this game. But after the game, there's a, there's a week-long gap before we play Man United. And I kind of feel like I don't want to lose a third league game in a row. Going into back-to-back -back ties against the the league champions for major trophies. So I think we're going to go as full strength as I can go. Um, so that basically involves Tavares dropping down to the bench because he, I mean, he's tired. I, maybe, you should, maybe you should be resting David as well, Merson. Oh, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a few that... I'm just going to go with this. There are, there are changes I could make if someone gets injured. Then so be it. We are going to go attacking, fluid, expressive, roam from positions. We're going to try and out football leads in the first half hour or so before we get tired. Then make a bunch of substitutions for anyone who looks like they really are struggling. Um, yes, we want to book a Europa League spot today. We're effectively already there though. Because surely, even if we lose both cup finals, one of them gives... The FA Cup gives us a route into the Europa League, doesn't it? As losing finalists with Man United already in the Champions League. I don't know what the situation is with the Europa League. Probably not. But Man United should just be nice. I tell you what, if you're, if you're watching, I think it's still Mourinho at Man United. If you're watching, Jose, here's the deal for you. I'll let you have the FA Cup. I don't care. I think Arsenal fans have won the FA Cup often enough. They don't want another FA Cup, nothing else, not even a Champions League qualification season. So you can have the FA Cup. You're already in the Champions League next year. You've won the league. You don't need that extra route through. So if we're going to split this up nicely, United, you can have the FA Cup. But please, can we win the Europa League? Because then we can come and join you in the Champions League next season. And that'll be fun. That's better for English football. Five teams in the Champions League. That helps us all out, doesn't it? After the season we've had, we're only Leicester. Who was Leicester manager? He must have been good. But after a season where only Leicester made it through the group stages of the Champions League, I think best thing for English football is for is for us to find our route into the Champions League with you. Um, we're losing to Leeds. 
goodness me, where are Leeds in the Leeds are in the relegation zone. Leeds are already relegated and we're losing to them. We have just absolutely taken our eye off the ball in the league. I don't know if that just means the Premier League has already reached the stage in this save where it's massively overpowered against other leagues. Bear in mind we just thumped Milan at the San Siro. Or whether it means that like psychologically the players just don't care about whether they finish fifth or sixth. Merson, he cares because he's the Arsenal homegrown boy. There he is again. Tommy Merson playing way above his level. I mean, remember this is a guy who's never even been called up into an England squad. And considering if you're English and you play like three games for a team in the bottom half of the table in the Premier League, you often find a route into the England squad somehow. Tommy Merson's never even been in a squad and he's playing week in, week out for a team that's in two major finals and was even with a chance of a Champions League spot. So that shows how out of his skin he's playing. And I thought he was going to grab another one there. Tommy Merson trying to do it on his own. Right, corner comes in. Alex can't direct it towards goal. In fact, it looks like we've won another corner, so I guess it wasn't quite as poor from Alex as I thought it was. We go for Alex again, and again, he doesn't really make any proper contact with the ball. Um, I would like to go ahead sometime soon, because I would like to slow the pace down a little bit and start resting some players. That's a pretty poor cross, but Salcedo picks it up, crosses it back in again. DVD's there, but can't get onto it. Rondonina now. I mean, he no, he's not got to worry about a Europa League final because he's not in our Europa League squad. Suma crosses to Salcedo, and we are now 2-1 up. It's taken us a little while to get there, and we've definitely gone the long way around. Goodness me, as it stands right now, West Ham are in a Champions League qualification spot, and Man City are going to miss out. So we can't move up to fifth, even if we win this game. We're just going to finish sixth. And the teams behind us weren't going to catch us anyway. So this really is an utterly meaningless game, other than trying to give us some confidence and momentum going into the FA Cup final next week. But that is interesting that Man City are going to miss out on the Champions League spot. In fact, we've now... Oh, no, there you go. West Ham have now dropped below us again. We're back up to fifth. West Ham have bottled it, everybody. They had their chance at the Champions League and they've blown it. And Tommy Merson has just scored an absolute beauty. He really is trying to do it on his own. He knows we're signing a replacement for him in the summer. This is his one chance in his football career to make a name for himself and actually be a superstar for six months. Because next season he drops out of the team probably the season after he does get that move to Everton or Wolves or I don't know apologies if I'm offending Everton fans but he's going to drop down a little bit who have we got down the bottom half of the table here fact, where are Everton are they, oh, they out there so he's going to join one of these clubs probably the likes of Cardiff West Brom Bournemouth Stoke he'll go and join one of them and he'll never never win anything again he'll never get a medal he'll never play in the Champions League again but this is his season, and he wants to milk it for all it's got. Right, let's let's see what how we're doing fitness wise as we hit half time. Not too not too disastrously actually. I think we're probably all right for now. Let's have a little look at Tommy Merson just to show I'm not being overly harsh on him. He's 24 years old, never even played for England under 21s. Um, I thought he was valued at more than that actually, but valued at eight and a half million quid. Three-star current ability, and he's already maxed out his potential. So as it stands, he's only the third best attacking midfielder we've got. And he's never really had an opportunity until this season when he's in the form of his life. There you go. He's got previous at Watford. He could go back there and have a lovely little career. But on the flip side of all of that, of course, we do need homegrown players in our squad. So there's every chance he'll just spend the next five years of his career just being an Arsenal reserve, just so that he can make up the numbers. It's 4-1 now. Felipe scores. We have dropped down to standard and moved back to flexible on our mentality because, you know, we're 4-1 up and Leeds were already relegated. I don't think we need to push this too hard. I mean, that piece of goalkeeping was outstanding. If you watch my Nuneaton series as well, that's what a bad goalkeeper looks like. Um, Nadat doesn't do that for Nuneaton. Um, very much Nadat in. And if you don't know what I'm talking about... You need to be watching back in the borough. It's awesome. Right, Merson. Can he grab himself a hat-trick? He sprays it out wide to Salcedo, and he has continued his run, but it falls to Hutchings, and he misses. I think we are going to make a bunch of substitutions on the hour mark here, um, just to try and protect some of the players. Really protecting the players that we don't really have replacements for in the squad. Salcedo. David. Oh, I thought that was going to be five. Whew. Um, who, uh, Merson needs to come off. Because we don't have another attacking midfield player. That's why he's playing so many games. So, 
Um, Patrick Roberts can come on for Merson. Hutchings, again, we don't have another striker at the club, so Collins can come on for him. I don't even know who Ed Collins is. 17-year-old striker who's come through the youth team last year. Um, yeah, good luck, Ed. I mean, you might grab a goal. This is going to be a good opportunity for you. And then I think we'll leave it there. Probably don't need to make all three substitutions on there. With half an hour to go, we're going to drop the counter-attack in and just keep, again, keep an eye on fitness. David is struggling a little bit again, and he was struggling against Milan, so I think Junior David is probably going to be the final substitution. Um, we'll take him off now. Bring on Leshy. And just see out the game, hopefully. And Leeds aren't getting back in this, and it doesn't really matter if whether they do or they don't. We've finished in fifth place, unless West Ham have a bit of a comeback in their game. But we're powerless to stop it. We're 4-1 up and either West Ham are going to win or they're going to lose. Drawing's not an option. Uh, we can't catch up with Man City because of that terrible back-to-back -back defeats that we had against, was it Stoke and Liverpool? Certainly Liverpool were in there. City are now ahead in their game. It's a four-point gap between us and City now. And I think there you go. Fifth place finish, which bearing in mind where we were when we arrived at Arsenal, I think fifth place has been a cracking result. And, you know, fifth place, it's always something to celebrate as an, if you're an Arsenal fan. I really shouldn't troll the fans of the club I'm managing. It's not going to end well for me. I'm only playing. I love you all, really. Um, right. Goodness me. Um, just going to check we haven't picked up any injuries and then we'll finish things off. No. Right. So what we're going to do now is I, in reality, I'm going to go and put on an outfit. I don't, I don't actually know if I've got a clean shirt. I might not be suited up. This is where you'll know how organised I am with my suit because I'm recording it now. You'll see it tomorrow and I think we'll probably do FA Cup final tomorrow, Europa League on Wednesday just to make each of them that little bit more special and then we'll be back with the new season on Thursday. If you have enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos and thank you very much for watching.